I love my brother. I know that, you know, he's done some bad things, but that doesn't mean he's a bad person. Something that he did in a moment of psychosis isn't going to rewrite his entire life. Henry Lovell's sibling, they showed up to support their brother today during his arraignment. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Maloney. Well, Lovell pleaded not guilty to all 14 charges against him after leading police on a three day manhunt and he's also accused of hurting a Morristown police officer. The 24 year old made a Zoom appearance this afternoon. ABC 22's Matt Holderman was in court for the arraignment. And Matt now joins us live in the newsroom with reaction from both police and Lovell's family. Yeah, Lauren, that's right. Well, it was certainly an emotional day in court today uh, for all involved. Now, Morristown's police chief took a moment after the arraignment to thank everyone who helped them catch Lovell without incident. And Lovell's siblings spoke with us about the love and concern they have for their brother. He was very remorseful uh, and very regretful of what he did. Monday afternoon, Henry Lovell appeared via Zoom in Vermont Superior Court, pleading not guilty to all 14 charges against him, including attempted murder, following a shootout with a Morristown police officer and a three-day hideout from police. Lovell spoke with the judge about getting an attorney. So Mr. Lovell, did you want the public defender's office to represent you in this matter? Uh, yes. Is there any other... Um uh, body of legal defense that can, or I could probably use all the help I could get at this juncture. After getting a tip from someone in Hyde Park, police found and arrested Lovell Sunday night, putting an end to the day's long search. Officials say Lovell shot and injured Morristown police officer Brian Tomlinson last Thursday night after holding his mother and landlord at gunpoint. Immediately after Lovell's arraignment, Morristown's police chief and a Lamoille County deputy state's attorney thanked everyone who helped track down Lovell and say they're hoping to move past the incident. Our hope is now that this incident has been brought to a peaceful resolution, we can all get back to a relative daily routine. We are all um, very close and we help each other and we support each other um, through good times and bad. And we're hoping that now that Mr. Lovell has been captured safely without incident, that the community can begin to heal and that his family can start healing as well. Mina Lovell, a sibling of Henry's, was at his arraignment as well. They say they love and support him through all of this, saying Henry has a history of mental disorders, including schizophrenia and was often abused growing up. He has a very complicated history. Um, and I came here because I wanted to show him that, you know, people love him and that he's still got a chance. People only see this one side of him, um, you know, this, this side that comes from his schizophrenia, um, you know, from his abuse. Um, and they don't see the side of him that's really kind and really soft. Plenty more was said after Lovell's arraignment this afternoon. Again, a very emotional uh, afternoon. A lot of information shared with us as well. I'll have plenty more of those reactions and more info coming up later tonight on ABC 22 News at 11. Live in the newsroom, Matt Holderman, ABC 22 News. And Vermont State Police told us last week someone at the Morristown VFW wrestled a gun away from Lovell. Doric Tallman told News Nation it was a case of being at the right place and the right time. This instinct kicked in. I knew I needed to uh, get the gun away from him to protect the other patrons in the uh, VFW. And I just happened to be at the right place and able to do what needed to be done. Tallman said he was at the VFW for a weekly cornhole tournament when Lovell came in trying to unjam his shotgun. After Lovell refused to give up the gun, Tallman said he pried it away. According to a Facebook post, the VFW reopened Sunday after being closed by police during the investigation.